killed her. Not Guatoma, the spirit woman. Nobody on our side would try to feed a scrub like that. Well, at least it was warm, California. The only reason it's warm is because it is still alive. Corporal of the Guard, post number one! What is it, Sergeant? Maybe the moon is playing tricks on me, sir. But there's an Indian squaw coming in this way. Open the gate. Over there, Colonel. California. Hey, ain't that Watoma? Yes. Sue Spirit Woman. She must have walked for miles. What do you suppose it means, General? Trouble. Nothing but trouble. Get inside. he had been the youngest general in the Civil War. Within five years, he had been reduced in rank and sent west to be forgotten. But he was not the kind of man to let the world forget. His name, George Armstrong Custer. Sorry to interrupt you, sir. But something's happened. What is it? More trouble? It's Watoma. What? Watoma, the Sioux Spirit woman. You saw her last summer with Sitting Bull. Oh, yes. I remember now. The blast, a lot of mumbo jumbo, throwing dust in the air, muttering incantations and nonsense. Uh, what about her? She's here. Here? At Fort Hayes? Why? It was an attempt to kill her, to prevent her reaching us. She's in pretty rough shape. Have you talked to her? No, sir, she won't talk to me. She insists on talking only to you. Me? Well, why in the world would she want to talk to me? I don't know, sir, but whatever it is, it must be important. If her own people are trying to kill her. Well, I know that she's tied up with their religion, but... Uh, just how important is she to them? I'd say Pertner is important as crazy horse he said. More important. If something were to happen to crazy horse, it'd be a blow to the Sioux, but there'd always be someone else to replace him. But Watoma is a... Well, she's more than a person. She's a symbol of their spirit, their soul. Why would she come to us? It could be what we've been hoping for, sir. To bring peace to these plains? Yes, sir. You may be right. Where is she now? She's resting. As soon as she's rested, I'll see her. The two of you would better be present. Right. I'd keep quiet about this. The fewer people who know about it, the better. Yes, sir. Shoot. 
first chance I get to pass something around, I can't tell a soul. I expect you'll survive. Survive what? <laughs> Let me buy you a drink. Huh? No thanks, Aldo. Uh, Joe. Joe? Now I'll pass. I had to drink alone. I don't like to drink alone. Well, now, wait a minute, Eldo. I think you've had enough. Oh, I need that, Colonel, to go to sleep. I need that to help me go to sleep. Colonel? No, oh, no. I think you'll manage. Uh -huh. well, come on. I'll take you back well, to your place. Let's go. acting like I was drunk. I'm not drunk. Oh, it's just that I need to sleep, that's all. Well, a trapper needs his sleep, you know. Oh, he does. Yeah, and I'm going to be leaving the start thing as soon as sure, I get out sure. of things and all. Come on. I've got to get to sleep. Colonel, you don't have to take that. Yeah, easy, right. easy, not no, easy. Shh, shh. <laughs> you don't want to wake up all the hair. <laughs> Another of an Indian war party could do that. Oh, oh don't bet on that. Old oh, Iris just like me, smell a Sioux war party ten miles away. They took his sister. Like they, like they took my Annie and my Joey. Sure, I'll try. You get some sleep, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's been a long time. Okay. Oh, about two years. Yeah. She certainly was a pretty woman. Don't say was, Colonel. She is. <laughs> She's alive, Colonel. Oh, yeah, she and Joey both. Hildo, you're only torturing yourself by believing that. Oh, no, they're alive. Somewhere, someplace, they're alive. Hildo, it's been two years. Now, I know it's hard to accept, but you've got to learn to face it. I think they're dead. Don't say that. You're wrong, and don't say that! I'm... I'm sorry. No need for apologies. I understand. You get some sleep, huh? Yeah, hey, go on. Go on. telling us why you're here. Why you're running away from your own people. I come against will of my people. End fighting between us. How would you do this, Futon? Yellow hair. Enemy my tribe. Killer. My man. My child. Why do you charge me with these things? True. It's true. No matter now. He... gone away. I alone. Much that I must do. Did I know your man? Yes. Black Beaver, War Chief, Oglala people, second only to Crazy Horse in Minds of Tribe, died White River. White River. I lost ten of my men there. You soldier, Yellow Hair. For you, only battle. For me, all ends. Life. Hope. I'm sorry. Yes, there is stupid, senseless killing in every war. That's why I come to you. To end killing between us. I speak to leaders. I listen to words. I return my people. Tell them what must be done to bring peace. Will your people listen to you, Watoma? When your leaders like Crazy Horse 
counsel only war. If there is peace, must be honor on both sides. Your leaders must promise my people their rights, must prove final treaty, must live for all times. Give me such treaty. I show my people white man means no treachery. They listen to me. I see. Why did you wait until now to come to us? I had vision. I looked deep into sacred smoke. I see my people gone from lands. You drive them away. I see many die. Frozen snow. Arms lifted. Sky. Must not happen. Well, Toma, tell me. Why should I believe you? Your belief. My belief. Different. One thing in both. Faith. I come to you in faith. taking an awful big chance. It's a chance we really can't afford to pass up, sir. You believe her, then? I don't know. But if she means what she says, it could lead to a treaty of peace with the Sioux Nation. Joe? You got no guarantee she ain't up to something. I'll send a wire to General Sheridan, see what he recommends. Stay with her. Yes, sir. Headed the wrong way, friend. General Terrors put this whole area off limits. Hey, trooper, about face, you're off limits. Hold it! Make sure you're all right.
back over here. to talk to the woman personally. Wants to see her in Fort Dodge in three days, no later. I'm going to put you in charge of the detail to get her there. You should make it three easy stages, say, Red Rock Canyon, the end of the first day, then if all goes well, second night, Ten Mile Creek, and then Fort... Di What's the matter? Sir, the Sioux undoubtedly know the woman would be with us. I doubt if a full battalion could get her through there safely. General Sheridan's orders are specific, Colonel. That doesn't make them right, sir. You're saying too much. I'm not going to tolerate any further insubordination on your part, Colonel. Yes, sir. Hey, Busty, let me, let me talk to you, man. Come on. What's going on around here? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I heard a woman singing in the middle of the night. <laughs> That's quite a dream you were having. No, 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 no. What about that engine buck that your boys buried about an hour ago? Now, what's going on around here? Well, look, you're holding up operations. Let's move it, Sergeant. We've got a long day. Yeah. Yeah. We're about ready, sir. She's in the tack room. All right, get your gear together. We'll be leaving soon. What is to become uh, can be read there? Sometime. Oh, I see. You read my name in there. Sand holds everything. Man's lifetime in single grain. Thousand moons forever. What is there for me? Not always wise to know. I'm not afraid.
There's nothing. Go ahead. Try again. face of earth, everywhere, men lie in sun, soldiers, all dead. Soldiers? How many? Across land, everywhere, men lie dead, all your men, yellow hair. When will this happen? Soon? Not soon. Yet. Not long. Me. Am I there too? Yes. You there too, yellow hair. We're ready, sir. Very good, Sergeant. Indian, I'd say this column would be pretty easy picking. California, I thought you said you were better than any two Indians. And General, you know I'm the biggest doggone liar in the world. Take the point. General, some of the boys are might worried about us getting our cargo through all right. Well, worried soldier sleeps lighter and he is better. Think you better take a look around, California, before you turn in. All right. The heroic forces of U.S. cavalry. In their word, word. Triumph. Trap. Triumph. The victor in battle. Triumph over a horde of bloodthirsty savages. Sensational uh, writing, newspaper stories. That's what sells newspapers. Truth does not matter. Apparently, not as much as the number of newspapers they can sell. The people are at war. They want to read about their victories. It's not fair. It isn't supposed to be. Will peace be fair? Will my people be free? I think so. You do not know. I can't guarantee you if that's what you mean. But I do know one thing that we just finished fighting one war to make sure that a man couldn't be a slave in this country. My people say, if catch Hawk, two ways treat him. Put him in cage, spirit will die, no matter much food you give him. Loose him in forest. He know you as friend, hunt with you as brother. Sue are hawks. Oh, who goes there? Get in that wagon, quick. Colonel Custer!
great, Macau. Eldo, how did you ever get by my sentries? Oh, I guess an old man. It ain't like I'm a Sioux. This coffee smelled mighty good. Help yourself. Oh, well, thank you, thank you. I was just up here, girl. Uh, Jayin' on my trap lines. That's very funny, Elder, but I didn't know you ran traps out this far from the fort. Oh, yeah, yeah. Animals are getting sparse around the fort. Man's got spread out a little bit. This is Sioux country, Eldo. The cavalry can't protect you up here. Oh, oh I never asked for protection. I'll tell you the truth, Colonel, since I lost my wife and boy, I don't really care what happened. It's not very sensible talk. No, no, maybe not. Where are you heading? Well, we're just a routine patrol to Fort Dodge. Gonna drop off some supplies at the telegraph shack. Well, you won't mind my going along with you, huh? You don't set a trap line along a stage road, Eldo. Oh, well, that's right. I, I, I gotta get the traps first. <laughs> I'm gonna pick them up in Fort Dodge. All right. You can come along. We leave at first light. Just pick any spot you like to bed down. Well, thank you, Colonel. I'll uh, get a nice soft spot away from the camp. I'm used to being along. Thank you for the coffee. Funny thing about that Jasper falling this clear out here. We don't know that he followed us. Did you take a good look around? Yep. I'll catch about an hour of sleep, and then I'll take another circle around. Do that. <laughs> Stay under cover. Sometimes spirit calls. Someone in need. Not far from here. I do hear someone. Not very far away. Over there. Sounds like an Indian calling for help, Colonel. Must be a trick. It's no trick. Where'd you get the squaw, Colonel? Don't concern yourself, Bill, though. Forget you ever saw her. Sergeant, come with me.
you work? You're, you're the one that was singing back at Fort Hayes. Now, who are you? Watoma. Watoma. Who are you? You're the spiritual leader of the whole soon as you're more important than sitting bull himself. Eldo, get away from that wagon. No, no. You get away. I'm going to blow this score apart. Listen to me, Eldo. That woman's a friend. She's going to help us with the Sioux. Now, we've got to get her to Fort Dodge alive. Now, let her go. Yeah. Yeah, she's important, isn't she? It's about the most important thing in the world, I reckon. I wonder what the Sioux would give to get her back, huh? You're not talking sense, Eldo. Oh, I'm talking sense. More sense than I've talked in my whole life. Yeah. I'm going to trade her right across the board for my wife and my boy. Your family is dead. No, they ain't. My wife and my boy are still alive. It's two years, Eldo. If they are alive, they're not the way you remember them. They'll never be that way again. You're wrong. You gotta be wrong. Because I'm gonna get them back. And things is gonna be just the way they was. Now, I'm gonna take this woman with me. Bussin! Bring me a horse. Don't try anything funny or I'll kill this woman and cuss his necks. All right, Custer, have your men put their rifles in a pile right there. You heard what he said. Put your weapons in a pile. Now! That's far enough. Now, you take your revolver. You and Custer both. Take your revolvers and throw them over there. Come on! You don't realize what you're doing, Eldo. Oh, you're wrong, Colonel. All right, come on, woman. Now get down. Get down. All right. Get up there. Get up. All right. All right easy. Let me have those reins. All right, now move back. All right, here. Get on the horse. Get on the horse. You try any tricks, and I'll kill you. That man says you obey him, Otomo. Wait. We're not dealing with a normal man. You'd kill her if we try and stop him. Are we going after him then, Colonel? All right, prepare to move out. We got other ground to cover. No sign of him anywhere, Colonel. Hey, uh, I was just wondering. You know, if you're as important as they say, uh, Probably done some traveling, you know, from village to village. What I mean. I was wondering uh, if you ever seen a, a woman named Annie, a little thing, about forty year old, black hair, just about as black as yours. She, she might be cooking for you folks. She sure did like to cook. She done it real well. She had a little boy with her, name of Joey. About two years old when, when they took him. Had blonde hair. Just as blonde as, as blonde hair can get, I guess. May have turned brown by now. I, I wouldn't know that. But had blue eyes. It's as blue as the sky. He's a stout little fella. Real strong. I used to pick him up in my arms. Well, well what about it? Did you ever see a, a boy or a woman look like that? No. Sorry. Well, 
down. Finish up your food. We gotta be leaving pretty quick. Find us here both killed. No, no. As long as I got you with me, I don't reckon. But just in case, we'll let them know that we come friendly. All right. Let's go. Sir, they'll be pretty rough on her, won't they? Rough as they know how to be. You see anything? Yes, yeah, some tracks. Looked like eight or nine of them. I followed them off up in them rocks, and where they went from there, it's anybody's guess. That's an awful lot of territory to cover, sir. Well, then we better get at it. California, you and I will take the south rim. Sergeant, you take the rest of the detail and push along the other side. We'll meet back here in an hour. Let's go. Yes, sir. Hardly tell where it's coming from. Over there. Does it? Could be worse. You take a position here. Don't start firing till I return with the patrol. I reckon you know that the minute I start shooting, they're going to have my hide hanging on the fence and nothing flat. Oh, no, they won't. Because they're not going to be looking at you. Oh, wait a minute. How am I supposed to know when to start shooting? 
When you hear the charge. Charge? It's two to one odds. Everything's ready here, sir. Mount the men. Mount up. You've all won in action for some time. And now you're going to get your bellies full of it. Bugler, I don't care if you blow that bugle well. When I say sound the charge, it had better be loud. Now let's move.
plenty. Happiness. Forever. Father, we ask you to accept these, our brothers, into your house. Indian or white. Not in vain, I hope. Otoma, someday this will all be one country where men can live in peace together, regardless of the color of their skin. That day will not be soon, yellow hair. But will be. Sergeant, let's move. We're gonna make Fort Dodge before dark. Otoma? Thank you.